Hey, this is Mike from Shadow Map, and I'm really, really excited to show you this here today. We've been working on this recently, and we hope it's as mind blowing to you as it is to us. Every time I, I start it up, I just um, find it really, really cool. So let's get right into it. You might have noticed um, I'm here in the Shadow Map map already, and I have um, I have like my 3D environment. I have a park right here. I'm currently actually in Berlin, and this is a cool little area to maybe showcase this new feature. And you might have noticed there's this new button on the right hand side and it says launch analytics. And of course, what's meant is solar analytics. And also what's worth noting is that this interface here, it's not the final version yet. We're still working on it and we're improving it, but this just gives you a first idea of what this tool is capable of. So let's get right into it. And I'll just press this button and you can see um, immediately my view changes to this cool um, color map overlay. And I have brighter areas, those yellow areas, and then I have purple areas and even like very dark kind of gray areas right here in between the buildings. And what this does, it gives me an instant evaluation or visualization of solar potential for any given location or spot on the buildings inside my viewport. For example, if I hover over this position here, like all the rooftops are kind of yellow, bright yellow. And if I hover over here, it will give me this tooltip that says 98% of potential sunlight are reaching here. And this is um, visualized based upon a time range. So the default time range is one year, as you can see here. But of course I can change this time period. So if I click in here, I could change the time period to something else, like only the winter months, only the summer months, and of course, this gives me um, very cool options for calculating or for visualizing the potential of sunlight. And yeah, you can see um, how quick it is as well. Like it's super responsive and interactive. It's fully interactive. So of course, um, with the studio functions, if you upload your own models, you will be able to see instant um, visualization of how the sunlight would hit this certain geometry or a certain building given the, the neighborhoods, 3D data, the surrounding 3D data. And also um, these dark areas here, so I showed you before the bright areas, it's like 98 to 100%. And here, for example, only 8% of potential sunlight reach in here. So it would be a very bad idea, of course, to install any solar panel in here. And see um, how fast it really is. Um, you can see the, the text overlay here, the analysis finished in 135 milliseconds. So of course, if you stay, like once you, you start moving your camera around a little bit, you can see that the preview gets a little rougher. But once I lock in, once I stay in the same position, it just immediately gives me a more precise and more detailed output again. Also, what's pretty cool is um, this panel function right here. So if I switch to the panel function, it will give me the option to just for quick um, preview purposes, move around my own like solar panel um, stand-in model. And I can of course translate it, meaning I can move it around my scene. I can rotate it to align it the way I want. And I can also scale it, of course. And if I move it around and I move it like in between the buildings, you can see the instant visualization here. This is also what I meant before by it's fully interactive because it really takes into consideration the environment right away. And of course, you can always exit the analytics function and then you're back to your standard 3D data map.